everybody, it's Daniel Jangula here. Thanks for tuning in again. Um, in today's video, I want to talk about some recovery modalities just to help us uh, kind of bounce back from our workouts. Or if you're like everybody else in the world and you spend too much time sitting, things get tight, things get creaky and cranky, uh, muscles are overly sensitive and joints hurt. Um, if you're not already familiar with it, foam rolling is a really great technique or implement or a tool, uh, whatever, what have you, uh, to kind of help uh, make your body feel a little less uh, garbagey, is the technical term. So we have a lot of these guys around the ALC. There's a lot of different ways that you can kind of get the same effect. Basically, it's just a self-administered massage. Now, depending on how familiar, familiar uh, you are with this, um, that might dictate kind of the density of the implement that you're using. So these blue guys are a lot softer, they're great for beginners. Uh, these black ones have a PVC core so they're a little bit more firm, they're going to dig in a little bit more. So that's the kind of stuff I like. Um, I'm going to show you how to work the, uh, the quad. It's very easy, a uh, good way to kind of approach that, but you can do that on muscle groups all over your body um, with different types of implements, which I might get into later in this video. So if I'm going to start with my quad, I'm going to lay down, I'm going to position this right at the top of my hip crease here. Okay, so my other leg, so in this case my right leg is going to kind of come up so that I can push off that, and my left arm is kind of coming, uh, reaching forward. Adam, why don't you get down and get a better angle here. Um, so I'm just kind of Spider-Man. All I'm going to do is push off my right leg, pull forward with my left arm while I'm keeping tension or weight on that roller. Now, you're going to find out pretty darn quickly that you got a lot of sensitive bundles there. You just don't want to kind of search them out. We call them trigger points. Should feel like a good type of pain, a tickle punch, a laugh cry, if you will. You want to... Um, exploit those areas. You don't want to dance around them. So you're going to find a spot that really makes you wince. Make sure that you're breathing regularly just so that your body can relax into it. And I want to spend, you know, 10, 15 breaths nice and deep from the diaphragm in and out, nice and relaxed. You can kind of move around, you know, half inch by half inch, staying on that sensitive point for, you know, upwards of half a minute to a minute at a time. After you're done with that, move around, find some other areas, okay? Now with the quad, it's a really broad, vast muscle group. So right now I'm more or less hitting right on the front. If I wanna kinda of move this out to the side, turn my hip out, I can get more of the groin area. And oh, I am particularly sore there today. Um, I can also go kind of almost into a side plank and get the lateral aspect, kind of along the uh, IT band, which uh, plagues a lot of people unfortunately so you might find that you're really sensitive in those areas too right I can work my way basically I want to work all the way up from the knee to the hip okay now you can do this at little small parts at a time but you're probably going to be spending a couple minutes on each muscle group now you're going to find from side to side that your uh, tenderness isn't exactly symmetrical right so maybe the lateral aspect of my left leg but the right aspect of my left leg is a little more sore just stay where you find those trigger points and explore those okay now, after I spend a good time hitting a few trigger points, basically what we're doing is uh, down-regulating the neural tone to a muscle. So it's going to be a little bit looser and a little bit more susceptible to a stretch. So I always recommend do a little bit of foam rolling or tissue work before you stretch to follow up with a little bit of quad, quad massage. We want to stretch that guy. So grab right above the ankle. I want to extend from the hip. So get my glute flexed so that that, uh, that thigh is actually... Uh, behind the midpoint, I'm in a little bit of extension, so we're stretching it through the knee and through the hip, right? And just hold that, make sure you're not arching your back too much, and uh, just kind of, you can go from behind on the other side too to get it at a little bit of a different angle. So I'll keep it there. There's a ton of different areas that we can explore. Maybe I'll do some new videos on it later. That's all for now, thanks.